Okay, in this video I'm going to explain to you how to set up to do a reagent test on a substance. You'll first of all, of course, need a reagent test. These are reactive chemicals that react when they come into contact with other things to produce a rapid colour change. You'll also need the small scoops that come with the test kit. These allow you to manipulate the test material that's inside of the bottles. You'll need, of course, a substance to test. The reagent tests themselves don't contain any drugs and are just legal chemicals. Given that the tests are highly reactive and the whole point is to cause a fast colour change, they will react with other things as well. So it's important to make sure that you've put a covering down on the table that you're working on. And this can be plastic, paper, anything that you're not worried about if it were to get stained. It's also very worthwhile protecting your eyes and your hands using personal protective equipment. And this just further reduces the chance of anything going wrong. If the reagent does get onto your skin, then you need to calmly but quickly wash it off with fresh water. You should have a beaker of water in your work area and you'll be able to use this both to clean your tools with after you're finished with them and in case you get it onto your skin you can also use that water to wash it off. Once the reagent tests are diluted the chemicals are in such a low concentration that they don't pose a threat on skin contact and they can be washed down the sink. It is of course important not to drink the water that you've used for cleaning. The testing surface itself needs to be highly chemical resistant to avoid any colour change. Some plastics are suitable for this, such as HDPE, which is what milk cartons are made out of, but the most recommended substance is ceramic. This is highly unreactive and very easy to clean. Before you start, you should make sure you clean it with hot soapy water to remove any particles that might be on it that might be able to cause a colour change in their own right. If you don't have a white ceramic tile like this, then you can use the underside of a plate or mug, and these are ideal as they are a glazed ceramic surface. Using the underside is recommended just in case the cleaning that's done at the end is not adequate. When you are cleaning up reagent tests, it is sufficient to use soap and hot water. And that's really all you need to get started. The next step is to prepare a scraping of your sample and perform the test according to the instructions. We've got other videos available and we've also got written instructions that come with every kit. We'd be really happy to answer any questions about how to use the kit or interpret your results by emailing us from our website. Thanks for watching.